What up, Michael? How's it going? Hope you're having a good day, good night, all the good stuff. I'm just setting some stuff up and then I'll be ready to go. Doing very good, thanks for asking. Family is doing good. Uh, kids are brats, but hey, that's what they're that's what they're supposed to be, right? Kids are supposed to be brats, and they're certainly doing their job in that regard. <laughs> I, I haven't played the baby count today, except for like the raids I had to do. So I just want to get this out of the way real quick too. Um, let's do one of these. Check the store. I'm still looking to unlock uh, Union Jack, but he keeps not showing up. The little jerk. Mm. Do one of those. Uh, raid credits. I guess we'll do Big Time Spider-Man. I think Big Time Spider-Man is a character worthy of uh, new players. I do think he's really good. What up, Wumpus? Yeah, we're going to do some hot CC action on the Dorks account today. 10 and 8, so I know there's single dad. Oof. Yeah, dude. I can't imagine. That's so tough. Shout out to you for getting it done, though. All right, anybody worth that? No. We checked that. Anybody here worth doing? A Tigra, sure. Um, ba -da -bum -bum -ball. I don't have enough. Ironheart, there's no shot. We're ever going to get her that high. All right. Uh, we got to spend some energy here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta go fast. Uh, Braun, not really feeling it. Okoye, sure. Can never trust Blitz credits. Nakia, 1000% yes. That reminds me, let's go get our Black Panther shard farm on. We'll grab Emma along the way. Do -do 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 -do. Black Panther. Let's grab Colossus, actually. I think uh, there might be a, a place for him as a new player. Got three under six myself. Love him to death. Yeah, kids are the best. Procastic Gaming. I freaking love that name, dude. Good day to you, too, sir. Good day to you, too. Uh, let's see. Let's do Strange. Strange will definitely have a spot in the uh, Secure Defender team once I get them going. Captain Sam, not so much. Yeah, let's finish Gamora off. All right. There's that. Mysterio's already seven. Shocker's not. You know, I can make a team with Shocker for wars let's just farm one last character to get the energy gone you too mega bros i had a pretty good day yeah got sniffed after my two i was supposed to get that done and i keep finding reasons not to get it done and it's like playing with fire eventually you get burned one two three four we already farmed that for her. Let's just farm these over here. One, two, three. These ones, two. One, two. You, you. Boom, boom. Boom. No worries. Hope it's helping. Especially the new account stuff that we're doing like right now. Um, let me check these. Let's just see if I got to sim some stuff. Sim with our hive mind team. Not bad. Look at this. So I don't know why I keep having the, uh, the brain break where I'm not going to get it done. But yeah, I need to go get it done. What up, Oryx? How's it going? Do one of these, one of those. All right, I think we're almost done. Eight years now? I need to get it done. Oh, you know what? I never claimed my free claim stuff yesterday. Damn. 
Normally I do it when I stream during the day, but today I got absolutely slammed with just so much stuff to do. We're going to have uh, some pretty impactful videos coming out tomorrow and the day after. So be prepared for those. Let me farm these event campaigns. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not right. This one's right. 30, 30, 10. Okay. I have a friend with three kids, and he was done, and they had an accident, and it was twins. Oh, shit. <laughs> that sounds like a horror story. All right, we're going to get on, and we're going to do the dork CC. Let's get it done. We're going to kick some ass. We did win yesterday's CC on the dorks. I know I didn't stream it. I ended up doing it at night, once again, because I was working on videos. Um, but, yeah, we're going to do this dork CC. And then I'm going to start the second channel. Um, the secondary, the second variety channel that I want to do, where we're going to cover, like, current gaming news and just, uh, the, like, the, the flavor of the week game and stuff like that. So, I'm pretty excited about starting that, because I'm pretty passionate about all that. Yo, Big T, what up? What up to you, sir? Yeah, we beat Gizli, and, uh, he had Cabal, and we didn't, so we're up against Soonzy. Yikes, stage four. Bro, I don't have, uh, I don't have what I would need to beat that team. I actually have no way to one-shot that team because, because I don't. Shoot. Even the second hit is going to be hard. Um, because I don't have Cabal. If I had Cabal... It would not be a problem. So, yeah, I might lose just by virtue of not having Cabal. Crapola. Crapola Dola. So, let's see. What are we going to do? We're going to do Hide Mind Vulture on one. We're going to do New Warriors on two. Um, we're going to do Skrull on three. Apocalypse Masters of Evil on four. After a burn attack, probably. Um. Yeah, probably. Uh, five? It, it, that's not a team in five, so that's fine. Uh, and then six. We're going to hit it with uh, Superior Six. I guess Superior Six. Maybe I'll do... Um... If we do Scroll Doom on three, Superior Six on two... Well, then that's... No, New Warriors... So, maybe Superior 6 on 1 with Vulture. New Warriors Lizard 2. Skrull Doom. We're going to have to burn attack here. And then we could hit this one with... Like a Void Knight, Red Hulk, Apocalypse sort of team. Then we get, well, I guess, Masters of Evil 5 and Tangled Web 6 or whatever the hell that's going to happen, I guess. I don't know. It's the stage 4. It's not having Cabal just ruins this for us and because we pulled like superior six there's actually no shot we get a win here unless it's like a fluke win so i got to imagine that uh soon z from midnight suns oh he one billion percent has uh yeah well there you go he's got the black cat costume which means he has the cabal team which means we actually don't have a shot here wait is he an onslaught or is he in midnight suns it says onslaught here but it says midnight suns here Uh, he's in uh, onslaught. Yeah, yeah, we don't we don't actually have a shot this week. Uh, we're gonna go for the clear over anything else. So maybe I should superior six apocalypse on the follow up. That might be the better option here. If we just hide mine vulture one, new warriors lizard two, scroll doom three, burn attack, maybe with somebody that would hit here. Um. No, say we bring in no bus, but we bring in like Nico because Nico will alt and hurt the dorm. Yeah, true, Papa. Um, and that'll leave us superior six apocalypse on four. We can use masters of evil on five, 
And then on six, some sort of Tangled Web team, Tangled Web Eternals team. It'll take a while, but it'll get it done. Burn attack with Zemo? No, 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 no. We'll burn attack with Nico. Clean it for Infinity Watch? Yeah, yeah, maybe Jutsu, maybe. Scroll will go before Zemo. A scroll probably would go before Zemo because he would get what 20% speed bar. No, I'm gonna go in with a bunch of characters that have no buffs on spawn, and then a Nico. And Nico will do her ultimate. Um, it will hit the dorm, dropping his health below 100%, so there's no revives. Black Knight will take a retaliate. We'll pause the game. Alternatively, we could go in with, like, Emma and Bionic Avengers for the same sort of effect. But maybe Nico can survive. What do we got here, Jutes? That aggravates me. That angers me. It angers me. Deeply. Especially the three yellow stars on leader. But hey, it is what it is. Yo, I didn't see it, Jutes. I didn't see it. What up, Lazy Ozzy? Alright, let's have some fun with it. Three... Two, one. It's time for Cosmic Crucible Free to Play Edition. Luckily for you, this week is the week where you get to see Dorky get beat up because he doesn't own the Cabal team. Let's watch him get his face crushed. Do do do. What's up, guys? We're up against Soonzy999. Soonzy is from my other alliance, Onslaught. Don't be fooled by the Midnight Suns thing. He is from Onslaught, coming at 90 million TCP. Now, unfortunately for me, Soonzy did not want to leave the window open for me to one-shot everything. If this didn't have Skrull and Black Knight there, I could have done like a new Warriors Apocalypse YOLO like you saw in the last video. Uh, but with Skrull here, that's just not an option. And the Dorm also solidifying it even more so. So we have to do a burn attack on 4 and we have to hurt the Dormammu so the follow-up attack even has a chance of succeeding. So that's what we're going to do. And I am not looking forward to it. A big part of me wants to pull that scroll special as well, but I'm not sure if that is uh, an advisable idea. Fat Boy with a sub, thank you so much for the subscription and support in the stream. And Fat Boy has to say, "Hey, you just went against Archangel and CC. I dropped one attack, but he hasn't attempted any attacks. Archangel is a silly man, and he's gonna lose. Kick his ass, C Bass. I'm rooting for you, Fat Boy. All right." We're going to start this off. Uh, let's just do this in order. Let's start it off with stage one. Uh, that's not Vulture. That's Vulture. That's a Skirmisher. I want him as a Striker. Okay. All right. All right. So we're going to start this off with a big punch up already. Hive Mind Vulture going up against the Extreme Row team. Now, there's no Sunspot here. There is a Cyclops. So you do have to kind of kill the Forge first. Because if you don't and two people die, then Forge gets 200% speed bar. There is a world where you push enough people to keep your um, Hive Mind going before them. But it is iffy at best. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do here might seem strange. I'm going to put the slow and the offense down on Gambit here. The reason for that is I don't want Vulture to remove the defense up from Forge. I want that defense up to get flipped. And it just is here. And we cover with the ability block, which is nice. Hopefully we get a vulnerable on him. We sure did. Let's follow that up with a bunch of damage on him. That activates the rogue, but I don't really care. That's fine. Ooh, I don't like that Vulture getting as beat up as he is. Offense up to our uh, Red Goblin here. Our free-to-play Red Goblin coming in at 5 yellow, 5 red right now. This will push at, it'll kill Forge, and it should push at least the Cyclops. So, oh, a little concerned where we're going to be at, because we didn't strip that speed up off Nightcrawler. Well, we do get the Gambit kill here, so that's great. Oh, we're in trouble, guys. Yeah, we're in trouble. Oh, we're in big trouble. Oh, Vulture's going to go first, so this is an amazing rewind for us. Uh, and he was a Raider, so you, you would have thought he'd do a lot more damage than he did, but, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Let's try and hit that Gambit again. Nice! We pushed the Gambit into red. Oh, unfortunately, he does have a dodge, so we will not stun the uh, the Nightcrawler here. But we keep pushing the Gambit. Gambit keeps going above 30%, and then we push him. So we're getting infinite speed bar, but we might we might be killing ourselves. The Gambit pigs here. Stop pushing the Gambit! Let them take turns, for the love of God! What are we doing here? 
Oh no, we got into this the most horrible forever track against Gambit, and it's it got our Gwenpool killed. Oh no, this is awful. Oh, we're so dead, guys. We are totally dead here. A little bit too big, a punch up maybe. Let's see if we can somehow salvage this. Kill the Nightcrawler. Oh, we didn't even kill the Nightcrawler. Come on now. Okay, this has got to kill the Nightcrawler, right? And this will give energy to... Uh... Oh, no! It gave energy to him, but Rogue is going to step in and just ruin our plans. Hold on, Gwen. Gwen, do you got this, Gwen? No, Gwen. Gwen, you don't got this. Gwen, you don't got this. Oh, no. We're going to have to play cleanup here. Uh, we'll go in here. We'll clean this up with, like, Wakanda or something. We didn't think we were going to win this anyway. So, let's just have some fun with it. Uh, just too big a punch-up. It is what it is. I'm glad that we lost on the beginning. So, now we have no delusion of winning this. Fuck that. I'm trying to remain positive. Fuck that. Fuck everything that just happened there. With the Gambit getting all of his fucking shit back. Fuck that. Fuck that to fucking hell dude that's bullshit what just happened with the gambit going to 30 getting dropped going to 30 getting dropped it made my symbiotes keep going when i didn't want them to i wanted the other guys to take turns fuck that that was horrible is it normal that nebula keeps generating indestructible on counter in three yeah in three every time she gives a buff uh, every time she gets a buff she increases her buff durations and every single time she takes a turn she gets speed game is trash oh well it is what it is all right let's hit this with new warriors lizard all right let's skip the cleanup on stage one for now i probably won't show that because it's gonna be very quick instead i'm gonna come in here with uh new warriors lizard on a 2.5 into 2.7 noir is tanking the power of this team it is a very big um, Robbie Reyes. Mechanically, we should have everything we need to win this. Let's find out. Let's find out. All right. Good, good. Uh, I like to target over here to make sure I get a vulnerable. All right. Let's go ahead and flip all that. Good stuff. So Firestar not getting a rebound makes her able to do this. You can't see it, but Noir died there. You can see that he died the second time. Uh, let's spread more bleeds to the Robbie. Let's try and get a vulnerable on him. Or sorry, a disrupt. We did. Let's go ahead and take that death proof off of Photon. So she's going to die. All right. That was great. That's even better. Let's go for the kill over here on Miss Marvel just to get her out of the way. Uh, wow. Oh, wait. We dodged everything? Wait. How did we dodge all the charge strips from Black Cat? I'm not mad. I'm just surprised. All right. Here we go. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. You feel me? All right. That was great. Uh, that's what we wanted. We didn't. That's what we wanted at stage one, too, though. All right, we're going to hit this Giant Superior 6 with the Dorky Special. Yesterday, we did a 1.5 million punch-up. Uh, today, it's only going to be a 2.7 versus 1.8. So, under a million. This should be great. This should be hunky-dory. All right, so first thing you need to do is you want to get a Disrupt on the Lizard. We did that. Great. And now, Doom gets hit. We want to now rewind... Making sure we hit that goblin. Doom's going to get hit again. He didn't get pushed, so it's important that we do have yet another rewind. And I'm going to throw it right here, right on the goblin again, just in case somehow he lives. Doom gets pushed. Going for the ride. No more charges on the goblin, which means we get to pour on the vulnerables here. I like putting uh, one on the Slayer and then the final one over on the Doc Ock. And now with our offense up on scroll because we opened up with the basic, not the uh, special, we go hard, hard. All right, and you got to make your scroll a striker for this particular matchup. I'm not a huge fan of making him a striker, but uh, you know you can't argue with the results here. And the 
results are good. Uh, I guess we'll just basic here. Ah, we could rewind. Normally, I would go for the lizard because then Minerva will perma kill him here. Uh, but I guess we're not gonna get that opportunity. Ah, wait, did we? God damn, Minerva is a goddamn hero. You're a hero to the Kree, and I salute you, Minerva. You're the best healer in the game. I know that because Scopely recently put an offer out saying so. I am level 98 and don't have Apocalypse. Should I try and do DD6 without him? You should, yeah, you should work on your DD6, but you should also work towards the uh, the Apocalypse at the same time. All right, so the fastest character is going to be Skrull at 124 if we have absolutely no buffs. We need to hit the Dormammu. We gotta hit the Dormammu of all people. So. We gotta hit the Dormammu. Bionic Avengers will spawn in with defense up, so that doesn't work. So. A Force, Nico. I gotta make sure none of the characters have, uh, have buffs. There's going to be no buffs. Someone lost, lost count of the Doom turns? Yeah. Um, Spider Woman gives the defense up, so it cannot be her. Archangel doesn't get any buffs. But forget him. Shang-Chi doesn't get any buffs, right? I think I'll bring Emma just in case I screw up and bring one buff. Ant-Man doesn't get any buffs. Black Widow gets speed up, so not her. Starlight Annihilation gives offense down, so not uh, him. Elsa does not get offense up on spawn. Morbius doesn't have any buffs either, right? People, it's hard to know who spawns a buff and who doesn't. We're going to have to, like, read this. Because the worst thing in the world would be that Skrull goes first and I bring a bunch of weak people and he kills a bunch. That would be really bad. Where do I try and pull the Skrull special? He only does it in war? Yeah, that's good. Skrull Girl doesn't start with any buffs. It's Kate and Echo who give the buffs. Do I bring a pre-taunt and let scroll special? I think he'll kill everybody. I do. I think he would kill people. X-23 doesn't spawn with buffs, right? Characters. What's up, Day? Alright, so X-23 does not spawn with buffs. On spawn, apply evade to wasp if she's an ally. There's no wasp. On turn, 25% chance to gain evade. That's not going to happen. I don't want death speed energy. That's right. So I'm using the Nico ultimate, and then that's it. Nico might very well die to the Black Knight. But I would rather one death than let the Skrull have revived once on spawn. All right, so wasp is good, and the Skrull girl is good. We know Emma's good. But I don't really need Emma for this. Uh, does anybody on the A Force team give uh, extra life outside of war? Spider Woman gives a defense up, so it can't be her no matter what, right? Ons want to play defense up, yeah. Shit, she does give the A Force allies some more life. Damn it. With Jessica Jones. Gain 10% max health. A Force gains max health. Armor. City. Okay, so let's go Jessica Jones. It's 10%, but 10% is 10%, right? So yeah, max health, A-Force gets 10%, armor, resistance won't matter. She doesn't give any buffs, so that's good. Let me check Nico to make sure Nico doesn't do any buffs if there's another character. 
When a negative effect is applied to this character, a force ally fills just her own speed bar. She gives herself max health, which is nice. She doesn't give herself any buffs. And what about Captain Marvel? Um, yeah, Captain Marvel does as well. Great. So let's take out uh, Ant-Man and go Captain Marvel. Miko gives JJ buffs. I think that's only in war. On war offense, if this character has three or more allies, apply trauma and disrupt for... No, that's their ultimate. Um, on war offense. On spawn, apply speed up, apply safety. It's only on war offense. Oh, not Spider-Woman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's supposed to be Captain Marvel. Thank you. The last stream? It's on... A, it's on... That would happen, like, last week. Um, but, yeah, it's on the, the VOD somewhere. This team should have no buffs. Just in case it does. It doesn't. Squirrel Girl doesn't. Do I take Squirrel Girl out, just in case? I'm gonna... I'm gonna claim these uh, free claims before I forget them, though. Because I definitely did not get the ones from yesterday. All right, we're going in with <laughs> we're going in with this. All right, uh, listen. Here's the thing. None of these characters spawn with a buff. Nico is the fastest character, and she hits everybody. Jessica Jones and Captain Marvel are giving her ten percent more life, and like the prayer here is we gotta go skirmisher so that she has ten percent more life. The prayer here. Is to do enough damage to Dorm, which is one damage, so that he doesn't give revive on the next attack, and hopefully not die to the Black Knight. I do think this Black Knight one diamond is just going to kill us, uh, but we'll find out. Oh shit! It's stage three, uh, stage four. I knew this. I knew I was supposed to bring in um, Bionic Avengers for this. I'm supposed to bring in a pre taunt. With uh, Hulkbuster that survives the scroll, and then I'm supposed to bring in Deathlock because Deathlock can actually hit people. Ah, I'm so silly. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to do this through the uh, the revive once. If we bring Superior Six, which I wasn't gonna do because it gives scroll so many turn ones. Then at least Scroll will take his own revive off. So maybe we do um, Superior Six Apocalypse here. But that rewind is going to be brutal. That is probably what we do anyway. I'm being asked, why not Cabal after Sack? This is a free to play account. If I had Cabal, I would have just hit this with Cabal Apocalypse and called it a day and one shot it. But I don't have Cabal. I don't even have Iron Patriot. Yes, they released this team in the final week of this Crucible season to give a giant advantage to the people that spend money to try and uh, hit that next ranking before the season ends. Eh, that, it is what it is. It's a business. I get it. The small account is the dorks, and the big account is J2D, which stands for just two dorks. Alert everyone about the zoo crew, Lockjaw, Goose, Howard, <laughs> the Duck, and Spider Ham and Thor. That'd be an awesome team. Um, the problem is they've already told us they, they can't do those kind of characters. They could probably do Howard, because he stands up like a human. But yeah, they literally can't uh, they can't make that that animate. Because of the, the way the enemies interact with them. Like, so, it, and this is the example they give. Like, Black Cat kicks somebody in the nuts, right? Well, they can't make Black Cat kick Thorg because Thorg is like a small frog on the ground. So she would just, like, kick the air. Cosmo has the same um, structure as Rocket. Rocket was put into the game 
ahead of time, and I guess they've kept up with those interactions. Which, and I mean, I don't, I don't think they really, I don't think they take what I say and like try and implement it or anything. But, and I don't, maybe I, I probably don't speak for everybody. Personally, I don't care if the if Black Cat kicks the air or if she kicks somebody in the shin or if she kicks the frog in the head. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather have those characters than be like, well, we can't have those characters because optically it won't work perfectly. Like, eh, whatever. I don't even know if this video will make it to YouTube. It's not the guy in the wheelchair. Well, I think they should have put Professor Xavier anyway. Just had him hover and put his head, like, you know, up where other characters' heads go kind of thing. But optically, they didn't want the whole uh, beating up the wheelchair guy, I guess. Which, I mean, other games have it, but if they don't want it, they don't want it. It's up to them. Kingdom Hearts tomorrow. Uh, I have a meeting with the uh, developers tomorrow for Marvel Strike Force. Um, I got to do the J2D Crucible tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, maybe we'll do some Kingdom Hearts tomorrow if you really want to see me rage. Do we need the rooms for next season? Not yet, but I think we would. 2 p.m. video tomorrow? I have 2 p.m. videos every day this week, uh, Jerry, from, from now until Friday. What they're about? I don't know. Beats me. I love the genuine rage from you. It is genuine in Kingdom Hearts. It really is. But the, the Riku thing seems a lot better anyway. So, hopefully. There are a lot of Marvel Strike Force streamers right now. That's great. Have yourself a good night, Jerry. All right, it's over. This is not going to be pleasant because I screwed up the burn team. Oh, here we go. So I do have my superior six for offense. We're definitely going to be taking Apocalypse in here. Uh, and we're going to be moving Green Goblin to a corner in the hopes that, um, you know, he doesn't get targeted. I'm going to make him a raider here as well. There's the the scroll is gonna get so many turns from our on spawn stuff, but it is what it is, right? It it just is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. This is the only team that could potentially beat it now. I think Masters of Evil will get walked over. All right, so that turn meter rewind is exactly where I wanted it. Whether that's actually good or not, I don't know. Let's use the special here so we get offense up. Make sure we give that Skrull as much speed bar as possible for him to flip it. I should not have done the special. That's all right. Um, if Apocalypse ever gets hit, then he'll uh, cleanse everything, right? I am super scared of this Dormammu, by the way. All right, there we go with the cleanse. So let's let Skrull do another <laughs> basic rewind stuff. Okay, well, we, we have offense up. Please kill Dorm. We did not kill the dorm. Oh my good god. Apocalypse has got to go first, right? Oh my god, the goblin with the offense down. And then the rewind on Apocalypse. Oh, thank god, the offense down goblin eventually gets it done. This is going so bad. This literally couldn't go any worse. It literally couldn't go any worse. All right. Um this 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 guy's got to be about to explode. The scroll, right? Why did the special not do anything to Green Goblin? I see no safeguards. I see nothing. Wait, I do see safeguard on Spider Slayer. So it shows Spider Slayer. There's the alt. Goblin's dead. Slayer's dead. Everybody's dead. If I could get a, a Falcon Punch off here, I'll keep this attack, I guess. I think I have to. All right, well, that's good. This is bad, though. This, yeah, this is bad, though. We'll keep the attack. We'll clean it up with Masters of Evil. Since there's no pre-taunt. Let's see if Apocalypse can maybe uh, help us get rid of the full life guy. Oh, I don't want to walk into a Skrull ultimate on the next hit. This went so horribly for me. 
We really want scroll to ult here, or we want to pause it, maybe. I don't know what we want to do here. I'm going to ult. Screw it. Let's see what happens. We're just wounding this scroll up to get closer and closer to his ultimate. If he, if he ults again, that's when we pause the game, for sure. I think he will, because he got so much energy from the first ult, right? He's got to be about to ult again. There it is. Pause the game. Let it time out. Don't give them any more energy. This could not have went worse. This literally could not have went worse. The green... Yeah, yeah. This was a... I, maybe I should have just brought Master Evil anyway, but Master Evil suffer from the same thing, right? Scroll would get speed bar. He'd flip the Kang's offense up and the Kang's speed... And then the same thing would happen. It just would have happened faster. Yeah, not having Cabal here is just a huge kick in the nuts. I'm so excited for this room to go away forever. This room was made for Krakens. Y you can't tell me it wasn't. Because the most, the newest teams, Hivemind and Black Knight, they're the ones who benefit from this room the most. And of course there's going to be this room again next uh crucible season there is always going to be a crack in appreciation room but this one just felt so so counter strategy so counter strategy when they add energy then you could play around with it too but when they take away energy it really becomes a measuring contest in some some regards Mind you, I could have not used my scroll against their superior six, but I had to. My opponent is just way, way, way bigger than I am. I wonder if we'll clear. I don't know if we'll clear. It's a genuine concern. Uh, one thing's for sure. We got the pre-tank um, coming in. We'll probably bring Phoenix, honestly. Yeah, we'll probably bring Phoenix instead of Ultron. Is chat leading me off a cliff? Nah, I'm doing a good job of that myself. The opponent's too big. Too big to care or get mad about. Why do the symbiotes get their ult in room 4? It's because Void Knight gives energy per hide my member. Uh, he gets it passively from his uh, passive. So he gets energy right away, but it is doubling. So there's a small bug there, but also working as intended. Oh, that's a very healthy team at the end of that one. Phoenix is going to get taunt on spawn too if I do that though, right? That's not great. What if we... Uh... Shoot, I really don't know what to do here. There's going to be a Terminator rewind coming. That's the problem, right? What if we do Nova? Because I don't have Quicksilver on offense. He would have been a good one to bring in here. I want a powerful special at the end of the day. We have double exhaust, so I imagine we're going to rip through them. Kestrel, maybe? Because her special is good. Let's go in here with Master of the Kestrel. So there's the rewind. So Titania didn't get to go first. That's okay-ish. Um, I guess we're going to get stuck behind Captain America anyway. So let's do it over here. All right. So there's Skrull's passive. Counter from Titania stops anything else from happening. We could steal his bus, but that seems like a horrible idea. We could put ability block over here. Or do we just hit the Skrull? You know what? We probably just hit the scroll with the ultimate since it's not going to put any debuffs. It puts a vulnerable on him, right? And with that vulnerable, I could do the special here that'll remove some Captain America speed. We'll just basic him. We just got to kill scroll. Once we kill scroll, it's over. Okay, I guess we'll special. Hopefully, she kills him here. She didn't kill through double exhaust there. I'm a, I'm offended on Kestrel's behalf. That's ri that's ridiculous. That's for goddamn ridiculous. Alright, this will kill the scroll. 
And it'll kill Captain America. Good. Here comes the stun. We did have to waste our uh, our mass reveal here, so this isn't this isn't exactly a win by any stretch of the imagination. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh This could be deadly if you screw it up, right? We're in a tangled web on six. We could have saved our Kestrel for this. That probably would have been a good idea. Let's go Eternals. Let's grab Omega Red. Emma OG Falcon, maybe? Nah, this will be a nice little rewind. I just hope it doesn't kill. I don't think it will. Hmm. Maybe it's a bad idea. What if we just straight up go for a kill on ball? Say fuck it. Steven with the sub, 24 months. What up, dude? That's two years. You're the best. This is some very poor play. What up, Didi? I mean, that's cool of you to come in here and say that. What up, I guess? Um I'll tell you what, in the off chance they get like just a shit ton of buffs, let's grab OG Falcon. Oh, we used OG Falcon. He's not on the menu, is he? Shoot. We didn't even get to make use of him. Emmers, I guess. Nah, let's go Archangel. Because he'll do rewinds too, right? Good enough. 